guys it's the title running you know we've got promotion but the question is where do we end up let's find out in this special early episode hi guys welcome back to the channel my name's route one fm and thank you very much to everyone who has liked and subscribed to the channel over the last what six uh, no not even that it's got to be four or five months obviously with this Wrexham saver so I would like to say a big thank you this video is also in association with dragon chat they help with social in the social circles regarding mental health is immense and i want to again reiterate gratitude to the people that they've helped um the people they are helping they do a wonderful job in association here with wrexham absolutely fantastic i tip my hats off to you and keep keep up the good work remember if you are in need of some mental health and mental health advice please give them a look i'll leave their links to their twitter page in the description they do a seminar on a monday night for females and thursday night for males so please give them a look now in this episode it's the it's the final three games should we say so you saw us clinch promotion in the last game so we are guaranteed a top three finish so the question is how well can we do now before we do that i would like you to hit that little red subscribe button hit the thumbs up button as well and if you want hit the bell notification so you know you get notified each week when these videos come out and obviously it is a special one because it is the end of the season and i'll still continue doing every friday so let's get into it our first game is against Hartlepool and then we've got a game against Stevenage and then we finished the season against Bradford so let's get that first game underway and see how we do and here we go against Jeff Stellens Hartlepool we're on the attack and Mullins is played through early little dink it's a goal Mullins scores after 33 minutes throw in comes in it's literally playing around nice reverse ball that veil there humes on the oh humes with a snapshot makes it 2-0 to wrexham veil on the charge veil becoming a real good start in the second half of the season veil from distance he's got a third there whoa and to finish it up humes left footed curls it over the roll it's 4-0 Wrexham win 4 0. What a result. Just look at that team there. We're going to carry on to Stevenage now. And we're away from home here against Stevenage with all to play for. What can we expect? Well, pretty much the same all season. I'm going to send my team out attacking, trying to get the victories. And as we're playing it around in midfield, Jones gets it back to Toza Eastwood just loose it long but Bennett finds himself on the attack with a great first touch to try and beat the right back ball goes in to the back McLaren and he's just gonna uh, loot it past the far post bit unlucky there but Toza with a long throw it's gone straight to the keeper can we get the rebound no out comes Stevenage can they we need to regroup Toza needs to get back in defense but what a tackle in there by Bennett Burkamp tries to play him down the line Bennett still trying to find a way through. Gets the ball in. It's to the back. Burkamp's there. Yes. Is that another win? Burkamp put Wrexham 1-0 up. What? What a performance. But here we go again. McLaren. Back to, to Humes. And we are just playing around the back with Shearing and Toza. Jones. Humes out to Hayden. Hayden down the line to McLaren. 
Are we going to get a shot in? It's over to Bennett. Bennett's in. Ah, oh, such a poor finish there. Could have done a lot better, but we get a corner. Corner comes in. Blowed it in. Is anyone going to get on the end of it? No, it comes out to McLaren. He's got to get the ball back in the box. Sheeran, Humes, I don't think it's going to go back in. And we come, all, come away with another corner there. It just goes straight into the mixer. But nothing happens here in the second half. But Stevenage on the attack. But Lewis clears up nicely back to Eastwood. Eastwood's got time. Picks out Toza. Toza hits the ball long. Looking for Vale. Vale drifting up, drifting there. Can he get across and ball goes in. Burkamp. He tries to... Oh, earlier part of the season, you would have banked him on scoring that. But that's it. 1-0 victory. Let's get over to the last game of the season against Bradford City. Here we go. We're at the race course ground. Last game of the season. We get a corner here. A ball goes in. Hoskins. It's off the post. It's an own goal. It's an own goal. Hoskins. Will Hoskins is playing his first game of the season as a starter. He's a youngster that's come through the under-17s with good potential. He's been getting 10s in training, so I've got to give him a run out, haven't I? Last game of the season as well. And he's automatically made an impact. But Hayden... Could be one of my players leaving in the summer. McLaren. Back to Humes. Hayden. I did think about Hayden. Rob Loughton is in goal. He's playing his last game before he leaves. But Hoskins is through. Oh, unlucky there. He could be our little shining light. Mullins. McLaren. Hodashana. Back to McLaren. Humes. Look at that gap now on that right-hand side. Hayden. Plays the ball through. He's in. He's in. It's off the underside of the bar on the post. Oh, no. That could have been a great goal. Jones with the corner and out it goes. Hoskins will pick it up now. He's got to do something. Hopkins gets the ball in. It's to the back. McLaren and it's just over the bar. So unlucky. We could have been 2-0 up there. So unlucky. Into the second half. Jones to Lewis. Lewis plays the ball. Hoskins is getting up. He's the first one back to it after getting the tackle. Burkamp out to Lewis. Lewis to Jones. Jones then back to Hayden. Ditchy Humes. Hosanna into Burkamp. It's ball to play for Mullins. Yes, that's 40 goals this season for Paul Mullins. He is. A cheat code. I will say that he's a cheat code. Cracking little player. Getting goals left, right and centre. I'd love to know over the two seasons how many he's got. Because he's got double figures in both. But Bradford City on the attack again. What can they do? They're coming down the right hand side. They're looking to bide their time. Ball goes in. It's a header. They've pulled one back. Bradford have got one goal back. That's... Paul Dependent and Rob Loughton, not really into the action there. But Hughes, with the goal kick, it's played long. And Bradford seem to pick it up. They've got the wind beneath them. So they're coming back down that right-hand side again. Hoskins and Lewis needs to do something. But ball goes across and it's cleared. It's punted clear. But it's come straight back at. Out. Coots. He's made it 2-2. Two -two. Oh, my God. It's 2-2. Two -two. That ain't good. It's not good at all. What can we do now? From the kickoff, Jones back to Hayden. This is we've got to do. It. It's the last ten minutes of the game. Hoskins is in. It's looped up, and the keeper saves it. What can we do now? Literally, ball gets played up, and we win it back. We win it back with Burkamp. Hoskins back to Toza. Toza plays it. To Lewis looking for Mullins. Burkamp's in. Burkamp's in. Oh, he's narrowly past the post. Narrowly past the post there. And from the result and for a goal kick, shall we say, Bradford have won it and they're coming on the attack. Where are they going to go? Ball's going back. It keeps going back. We're piling on the pressure. We can't go out on a draw, let alone lose it. But Hoskins plays it over the top. 
Mullins that's a goal Mullins with his 41th goal of the season in the 87th minute oh that's it it's got to be game over guys we are going to get over to the trophy presentation that's what we want and there you have it this is the Wrexham team who have won Sky Bet League 2 Bentos are going up to get the trophy there it is it's fantastic and they lift it now yes there we go all the confetti flying around that's fantastic league two has been won so guys what that means is that league two is now over for the league sort of side we've still got the playoffs but can we get the table up? I want the table. That's what I want. Um, there we go. League table. After 46 games, Wrexham are there with 105 points. 10 points ahead of Bolton, who get promoted with them, with Bristol Rovers. Burton, Southend, Leighton Orient and Crawley does the playoffs with Swindon and Morecambe getting relegated. As you can see, our top goal scorer is Paul Mullins, 34 league goals of the season. I know in my commentary I said he's got 42, but that's on all competitions. Best average rate in there, top three, Harry Lennon, Paul Mullins and Erwin Humes all in there. Clean sheets, I can see Eastwood's in there at number two, so a good backbone. What, what more can I ask for? So... The question is, what next? Let's just look at our players at the minute and our top goal scorers. I know you, it's a bit stretched, but it can be seen. But our top goal scorer is Paul Mullen after 40 games, six of them are subs, 42 goals in total. Guys, absolute fantastic occasion here. I can't express enough. Be sure to check out my next video, which will have the season review. That's the, that's the key. We're going to go through it and show you how well we've done and what we've got coming. I can tell you now, if you haven't seen my Twitter, there is a new player that I have signed. I'm very excited about this one, and I'm not going to release them yet until after the review. So... If you haven't already, like I said, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, tell me what you think, and we'll go from there. This is a new challenge. We'll go further on Skybet League One next. My name's Route One FM. No matter what you call it, football, soccer, football, just remember, it's for the love of the game. And I will see you next time.